again, my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 21st of January, 2019. Looks like I'm not the only one that thinks that Trump doesn't know how to pick people. Article written by Eli Watkins of CNN, posted on CNN Politics, title, Christie, Trump has found himself settled with riffraff. You see a picture of Christy there shaking hands with Trump. That's when they were bros, and that's when Trump was considering to bring him into his campaign. Washington, CNN, former New Jersey GOP Governor Chris Christie knocked a series of departed high-profile members of the Trump administration in his upcoming book, according to excerpts published on Monday by Axios. Quote, Far too often he's found himself saddled with riffraff, Christie said in a book. According to excerpts, Christie believes Trump needed to sign himself with high-quality people. Donald Sir urgently needed the right people around him and the solid structure in place, he wrote. Christie dubbed former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn a Russian lackey and future federal felon. Former Environmental Protection Agency Chief Scott Pruitt, greedy and inexperienced. Former Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price, who was ousted in 2017 for using private jets for multiple government business trips. High flying. Former Attorney General Jeff Session, not ready for prime time. And former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, a stranger. Actually, he should have added a number of other individuals, like Trump's choice for Secretary of State, that bloated hug. Mike Pompeo, and then his chief advisor, John Bolton, an absolute warmonger. Previous published excerpts of the book show Christie writing in a similar vein, where he lashed out at Trump's son-in-law and advisor, senior advisor, huh? Jared Kushner. Now what's this 28-year-old snot-nosed kid going to advise Trump about, huh? He can't even figure out that the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, who follows the Quran, the letter of the Quran, would cut Jared's head off if he could get away with it. While stopping short of criticizing Trump, CNN has reached out to Christie, the White House, and those mentioned in the excerpts for comment. Trump tapped Christie to lead his transition team ahead of the general election, but after his victory, Christie was pushed out of the team, tasked with staffing up the new administration. In the excerpts published Monday, Christie said the plan they created, which he says would have launched Trump, is a far more promising path, consistent with his values and campaign promises, was thrown in the trash, literally. All 30 binders were tossed in a Trump Tower dumpster, never to be seen again, Christie said. Steve Bannon, Rick Dearborn, Jared Kushner, and others, for their own selfish reasons, got rid of the guidance that would have made their candidate an immensely more effective president and would have saved him an awful lot of headaches, too. Like I said, Trump doesn't know how to pick people. And the people that are advising him to pick people like William Barr for the Attorney General, they're setting them up. William Barr is tight with Robert Mueller. Trump is creating his own demise by listening to those people and by not tuning in to where? Come on, folks, you know where. By not tuning in to ZollnerReport.com. He wouldn't be in a mess that he's in if he would have watched ZollnerReport.com. I had said he should come clean with those two women, Karen McDougal and Stormy Daniels. He wouldn't be in a mess that he's in, and they're going to use that to try to impeach him. You think not? Think what you like. I do. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Tell him to get his head out of his ass. 
tune in to ZollnerReport.com. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.